In Book 12 of the Iliad, the Trojans advance on the Achaean Wall. The gods will eventually destroy the wall. The trench blocks their chariots, so Hector and his troops attack on foot. One captain and his men race toward the open gates, but they are blocked. The Trojans see a sign, an eagle bitten by the huge snake it is carrying. Polydamus advises falling back. The sign means defeat is imminent. Hector mocks him and charges the wall. The two Ajaxes rally to defend the wall. Zeus sends his son Sarpedon forward. He fights through all opposition to rip a section of the wall away. Achaeans rush to block the breach. Neither side can push the other back. Zeus helps Hector heroically lift a giant rock and smash it through the gates. The Trojans stream over and through the wall to the Achaean ships. In Book 12, more doom is foretold, particularly in a passage that jumps forward in time, predicting the death of a Trojan captain in the 10th year of the war. At this point, there have only been nine years of war. All will happen soon. Hector's reaction to Polydamus' advice begins moving him toward his own doom. He takes Polydamus' first suggestion to attack on foot. It promises less danger, more success. He rejects Polydamus' accurate reading of the bird sign warning of the Trojan defeat. It would mean retreating, which is a dishonorable move. Zeus gets more involved here. He orchestrates the conflict, granting and denying specific fighters success and glory. Both sides of the war claim his backing. When the battle turns against them, more than one Achaean rails at Zeus for breaking his promise that Troy will fall before they sail for home. Fear shakes their faith in the prophecy that supports them. Hector mistakes Zeus's current favoritism for a promise of ultimate success and ignores his sign to the contrary. The intervention of Zeus can be seen as providing an explanation for things that have no obvious explanation. The chaotic ebb and flow of war and individual instances of inspiration and extraordinary valor are on display in Book 12. 